Welcome to South East Today. I'm Rob Smith. And I'm Natalie Graham. Tonight's top stories. It's not a wind-up. Inventor Trevor Bayliss visits a Kent school looking to encourage more girls into science and engineering. Now, science, engineering and maths are seen as some of the most important and fastest growing sectors in the UK economy. But despite the demand, relatively few women are opting for a career in science. Looking to change all that, one girls' school in Kent, the Simon Langton Grammar in Canterbury, has invited the famous inventor, Trevor Bayliss, creator of the Clockwork Radio, to inspire the next generation. Chrissy Reedy reports. Studio. I managed to get a bark of sound out of an instrument and that was my, if you like, my eureka moment. From that moment, the wind-up radio was born, turning Trevor Bayliss into a household name. One, two, three. On a visit to Canterbury, the inventor was encouraging students, particularly girls, to pursue a career in science and engineering, saying their bright ideas of the future could change the world. When you start looking at history, you suddenly find that there are some remarkable inventions that have been created by women. What we have to do is to make sure that society realises that there are so many things that we take for granted and yet the creators of those inventions, gizmo and gadgets, don't get the credit that is given to people who do art and painting and all the porcelain stuff. Oh, I thought he was amazing. He's definitely very inspiring. I normally see men do and things like that and it's it would be equal if women did as well. It's like encouraging you to get involved and like if you have an idea don't just give up as if because like he said someone might invent it next and you'll think like I had that idea why didn't I carry on with it. Just 7% of engineering graduates in the UK are women. Trevor Bayliss says that has to change and that cultural revolution should start in the classroom. Chrissy Reedy, BBC Southeast Today.